So welcome to this webinar on how to get started with Videxio. Today we're going to go through the, all the key features on, uh, on the service and we'll go through your own uh, personal virtual meeting room, how to invite people to this room, how to join a room both as a guest and as a host, how you as a host can manage your in-call uh, participants. We'll also have a look at the uh, video app uh, that we have developed, the uh, My Meeting Video software client. And finally, a few words on streaming and recording. So, with a user license on the Videxio service, you actually have two very powerful collaboration tools at your disposal. First of all, you have your own personal meeting room, and you also have a, a personal video app. But let's start by having a look at uh, your room. So what's important this, to notice is that this is a personal virtual meeting room. It's for you only, it's not a shared resource. So when you use it, you know that it's available for you. It's a place where you can join up to 50 participants on all sorts of devices, whether they are on a traditional video endpoint, like uh, the ones we see from Cisco, Polygon, Huawei, LifeSize, etc. The users can be on a desktop joining via a browser, which is a very simple way of, uh, of joining. If you're on the road, you can be on a mobile device like a tablet or a smartphone. And of course, we support uh, also people on uh, Skype for Business or simply using your traditional telephone on audio only. So let's have a look at the, at the interface. So, this is uh, the uh, starting point, both for you as a host, when you want to manage your own room, and when you invite guests. This is what they see. The only difference is this top menu bar here that only you, as the owner of the room, has, uh, have access to. You see there is a uh, link to the URL to your room. It's a static link, so if you want to invite people, you can simply copy this and place it into an invitation, you can uh, put it into an email, you can put it into an, any other kind of document. If you want to provide slightly more information, you can go to the advanced room info and here you can copy the text that tells people how they join, for example, via a Skype for Business client, how to join via telephone, etc. And of course, you also have the uh, interface where you actually join the, uh, the meeting room. So once you have invited someone and they have received the link uh, to, to join your uh, meeting room, your guests will see the, uh, this screen as well. And they can then simply join through the browser. We have highlighted this because it's a very simple and common way to, to join a meeting. But you also see these buttons below uh, where they can join, uh, for example, via Skype for Business. I click on this and automatically um, Skype for Business is opened on my uh, Windows PC and I'm taking directly into the room. I can click on uh, the video call button and I can join via that. If I don't want to join via Skype for Business, I can join via video hardware, for example, and I will then simply have click on the type of video endpoint that I'm, uh, I'm sitting on, for example, Cisco. And I can see the address I can, uh, I can use to join the meeting room with here. We also have an alternative address. This is typically for uh, the limited uh, number of endpoints that are not registered uh, to a uh, service or, or a gatekeeper. But those that have to use this address will typically know about it. In the majority of the instances, it's the main address that is used. People can also choose to join via a normal telephone. It will then be on audio only, not on video. We support more than 55 local dial-in numbers, so it's, it's a cheap way to, to join. Many people have that as part of their mobile phone plans, for example, so they can call for free, even. 
And because I'm currently located in Norway, it will automatically give me the Norwegian dial-in number. But I can also choose from a, a long list of, uh, of other countries here as well, should I want that. And of course, I can join via the, the browser, a very, very simple way to, to join a meeting like this. I'm then taken to a um, pre-flight page. I can see that the camera is working. I can see myself in the background there. I can test the speakers. I can see that the microphone is working via this bar here in the lower right corner. And I simply click on, on join now uh, to, to join the, the meeting via the browser. Now, coming back to the main interface, I can uh, see that uh, there is one person that has joined my meeting room and I now want to manage my, my meeting. I have invited a number of participants and I can see they are starting to, to show up. So with the participants and this interface, I can uh, mute the different people. I can also disconnect. I can uh, search for participants if there's a long list of them, but also I can invite more people to the room. I can either dial out directly if they're in my uh, directory, meaning they're typically in my, in my company. I can manually enter a uh, address if I have, uh, have this. It could be either in the form of a uh, normal uh, URI uh, address or it can be a, an IP address. Like that. Okay. So it, it's very easy to, to add more people to the room uh, like that. I also see that uh, I can lock a meeting using this button here. And that is if I want to make sure there is no uh, interruptions into the meeting, I have all the participants that I want to have in the meeting, they are present. I can lock this and anyone that then tries to call into the room will get a busy signal. So that was the, uh, the room and the, and the main functionality in your room. It's, it's all very, very simple. Um, but we also mentioned there's a personal video app. And this can be very convenient. So, so let's have a look at that. It's actually the same app that you can have on your desktop, whether it's Windows or Mac. You can have it on a tablet or a smartphone, whether it's Android or uh, iOS. And it actually turns that device into a uh, rather hefty video collaboration application. Yeah? Um, and with this, you can call directly to any other standards-based video system. You don't have to join a room uh, to, uh, to meet someone and, uh, and book that, uh, that uh, room, but you can actually just receive calls and call people directly, making it a lot more flexible and easy to join on video in an ad hoc manner. And the interface is all very clean and simple. You have access to the content. You can see the participants. You can mute yourself both on video and on audio, which can also be quite uh, convenient. And then finally, let's have a look at the streaming and recording functionality. Now, back at the uh, web interface, we want to schedule a streaming and recording uh, to take part uh, as, as, as part of our meeting. I go to the menu and select live events and recordings. And I click on schedule event. I can then uh, choose which account should take care of this uh, event. And uh, very simple is to use uh, a YouTube channel, for example. I also then select the uh, room that should be part of this uh, event and also what time.
and that's it. So now I do get all the information I need to share with the participants of this uh, this meeting, both the the traditional one for for the um, for the participants that would like to join on their normal as normal video participants, and also for the streaming and recording audience, they get a different link, so they can join via their uh, their laptop. Uh, they will be able to see the video, the audio, they can hear the audio, they can view the content, but of course they will not be able to participate in the in the meeting um, as as a video uh, participant. Then I go back to my uh, front page and I see that the event has been scheduled. Um, if I want to, I can also start it right now. Okay. So this was uh, very quickly the main features on the Videxio service. To recap, with the user license, you have one personal virtual meet you, uh, meeting room. And you also have one personal video app that you can have on your desktop, your tablet, and on your smartphone. It's very easy to invite people to your room. It's very easy to join as a participant. And you can have up to 50 video participants on any kind of device. You can share your content, you can share a stream, and you can record the meeting. If you should have any other questions to this, to Videxio, Feel free to reach out to us on cs at videxio.com. Thank you.